His game, he's always been very technical, uh, you know, competing at the world's, on the world's level for years now. He is always constantly drilling, studying, doing anything and everything he can to make himself the absolute very best he can possibly be. It's all that because Rafael have the eyes for it. He, he really uh, studies oh. jiu-jitsu a lot, he has all the tapes. He knows more about my game than, than myself. So it's, it's, it's a great thing. To, to train, he's really concentrated on helping not only the team as a whole, but everybody individually, you know, he puts a lot of effort into making sure everybody understands where they're going with their game and, you know. Well, he's a guy from Oklahoma, you know, who just comes out and dominates on the entire world scene, you know, it's just not, if someone was going to say, oh, you know, this is how it's going to go down, they probably never would have expected to see some kid come out of Oklahoma to be best in the world. Very humble. He doesn't boast or brag about his accomplishments. And, uh, and I'm, I'm actually more proud of him for that, what kind of man he's become, than for all the titles. Uh, like I said, to me, that is just a byproduct. That's just um, the icing on the cake.